Hello world, doing this little short video here to show you a project that I've been working on for a while. Got some stuff for Christmas and uh, put it to good use. As you can see there, it's my second controller. First controller that's actually hooked up. And over here is what's known as Retro Pi. Got your HDMI cord, power in. I'm sorry, USB, go into a USB hub so my controller and my wireless car can be plugged in. And then you've got power here and then a power button that I've rigged up for my custom little case here because I chose to put mine inside of this little old N64 cartridge. I gutted it out and well, it's not GoldenEye anymore because now it's my retro pie. Well, TV's on, showing no signal. I'll go ahead and push the power button and show you what it looks like when it boots up. Takes a second there once a little initial Raspberry Pi logo and thing whatnot pops up. As you can see, I've custom made my own boot screen. That takes a second to load too. Keep in mind it is running on a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is a pretty neat little machine seeing as how it was five dollars But it's not really the strongest of those little micro boards out there, but it damn sure gets the job done I Believe it's got oh, there's a load screen for emulation station But uh the Raspberry Pi Zero has a 1.0 gigahertz single core processor and 512 megabytes of system memory to work from which really isn't all that great, but in a stance looking for something that can do emulation, it should work just fine. And it does, because I've been playing on this thing for a little over a month now, and it runs great. And there we go. Got some Atari games. Got 11 of those. Got some Game Boy games. Mainly Pokemon, because I used to like playing Pokemon when I was younger. Got tons of Genesis games, Nintendo 64, which actually this Retro Pi can't run because it's running off of a Raspberry Pi Zero, which just doesn't quite have enough oomph. And then I got my Nintendo games, oodles of those. And this is really why I built the system right here for Super Nintendo, because as a kid, I loved playing Nintendo six, or Super Nintendo and N64 because I had one of those when I was a kid too and still actually got mine, but anyway. This here is why I built my Retro Pi. I went ahead and downloaded a whole buttload of games that I used to have, and I went online and looked for some rarities, so I could have some really cool and obscure ones that I didn't ever have in my collection. But really, what I was looking for was Mario World. Of the first four Marios that were ever made for Nintendo, that right there is my favorite, folks. Good old Super Mario World. And watch what happens when I push the load button. I even customized that screen as well. Isn't that cute? Little Super Nintendo now loading. And there's my save game. Well, there you have it, folks. Start to a game.